Yo, what's up guys, BS Kicks here, and today we have an unboxing from Nike.com. I already opened it, but I didn't look at anything yet. So let's get into it. Here we just got the receipt, invoice. Got your air, your limited edition air. But, uh... Here's a box, a Jordan box, obviously. And then, as you can see right there, retails 175, size 10 and a half, black, metallic, silver, and white, Air Jordan 6 lows. So I'm surprised these came in. This box, I thought they would come in the new uh, remastered box or whatever. <laughs> okay, the paper's kind of messed up, but whatever. Uh, and the box is messed up. That's cool. Boxes always are messed up for me. They come from Nike. But whatever. So here we go. The Jordan 6 low in the chrome colorway. Let me just fix this quick. So uh, yeah, first impressions. Glue looks pretty decent. Not horrible. Uh... They look pretty decent, glue-wise. So yeah, not bad. And uh, the suede on the toe box feels really good, actually. And on the whole upper, it actually feels pretty good. Yeah, your silver lace lock, which is cool. So yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed with quality. The suede feels really nice. And I, glue stains aren't too, too bad. There's a little bit of like a paint chip right there if it'll focus. A little bit paint chipping. So that pair looks pretty good. Uh, once again, a little bit of that like paint chipping. It's kind of weird, but it's not too bad overall. Once again, there's not much glue on this one. So yeah, for 175 bucks, it's, it's a little overpriced for a low. I wish it would have been like, you know, like the 140 that uh, Jordan 11 lows used to be. I think these would be a no-brainer for a lot of people if they were 140. But uh, yeah, these things are pretty much sitting everywhere. And like I said, really nice quality. I really like them. And uh... If you guys want a pair, I think they're still on finish line, like, every single size. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I honestly might just return them and then see if they ever go on sale or anything. Or if I get gift cards and stuff. Because then I could just buy them again. Because I wasn't going to... I wasn't planning on rocking them anyways. Usually with retros, I let them sit for a while. Like, I was planning on, like, busting these out in, like, a year. But if they're going to sit, I might as well just turn them and then buy another pair but uh yeah guys so that's the jordan 6 chrome low if you guys want to on foot and review leave a comment down below and i'll see you in my next video peace out